Hello, and welcome back to Diamond Shine with Shanta. Today, I'm going to be doing another unboxing. I'm from Diamond Art Club. We're going to be unboxing um, Witchcraft Room by Miss Brother D. Um, this particular canvas is 55.8 centimeters by 75.9 centimeters. It is a square kit. Um, if you look at the box now, it kind of gives us more information. It has 53 colors, two Aurora Borealis, three Fairy Dust. Also gives you the total amount of diamonds. Um, with the new boxes, the image is also on the actual box. So I think that's very nice. Um, let's get into her. this box maybe it's to stop the boxes from creasing maybe and shipping that makes sense i guess mm. but to me this makes it heavier for shipping purposes okay we've all seen this two kit <laughs> i have to make a video of two kit because a little insert because it's the same stuff okay we have the the new putty pen which I don't know why I have it. Right here. It has putty in it already. Preloaded. Um, it has a four placer and a seven placer. We get a little bag of baggies. Bam. One plate of heart wax. A thing of putty. And a nice tray. This really is a nice tray. It's gonna rip. Okay. Let's see here. So for her, her last two releases have had to me the same kind of color palette. I realize now it's like a kind of a pastel, like with browns, yellows, oranges, reds, kind of. I don't know if red can be pastel, but it's still kind of a muted color palette. Man. It's hard to explain, but I like it. I think it's really pretty. Okay. Oh, this is nice. Okay, so this one again is called Witchcraft Room. So we have our witch here. Let me kind of zoom in a little bit and... Show you all the candles a little bit better. Okay. So she is look like in maybe to me kind of, well it says it's her room, but I don't know. I feel like I don't know, maybe an attic room, maybe. I don't know. We have some two lanterns. Um some for artwork um in the background. Her really, really cute hat with stars on it. Cute little bow tie. I wish she's cutie. She's wearing glasses just like me. Love it. She has really pretty hair flowing down. Flowers in the background. I love. Looks like a plant right here. I think this is kind of looking out the window. This is her um, crystal ball. Really pretty. She is mixing up something right here. So caught maybe like a little mini cauldron or it could be a teacup. I'm not sure. This is like little drawers. She has a candle, a skull. Then we have a spell book, some kind of scroll, another like um 
might be a, I don't know, a spell potion bottle. Another plant in the corner, like with water droplets on it. And I'm not sure what this is on her arm. Maybe a band aid. Maybe we can tell better when we look at the image. And she also, I see now, has a spell book open. Looks like maybe she's writing in it, but we maybe I can tell better by the um, the image. Okay, I like this, y'all. I think it's cute. I love Miss Bird D. I have not been getting every single one she's been doing. I've been honestly, I've been sticking to the squares. I did skip one square. Um. I don't know. I like it. May come back. I'll probably will come back and pick it up in the restock. I'm trying not to buy so many. I don't know. So, oh, no, I did that last time. Let's look at this sticker sheet. I don't know why, but when it's by the sticker sheet being in this little packet, it's easy for me to forget it for whatever reason. To show you guys. So, this is the image. And that is definitely a band-aid on her arm. She is definitely writing something or doing something. Look like, looks like a pen. Yep, that's definitely a window. And I don't know. I feel like that's like an attic room because it, that is like the little tresses. So I don't know. But very cute. I didn't even notice the stars and moons on her sleeve until I see it in this picture. Okay, that's very cute, y'all. And then if we look at the stickers for Kitten Up, of course, you got Witchcraft Room. All these are separate stickers. This shows you the color palette. Also, the um, um, just stickers for when you kid up. We have 2AB and 3 Fairy Dust, 53 colors. And we are using letters, numbers, and symbols. Okay. Now let's look at the drills. <laughs> I'm going to flip her over. And then um, our drills are labeled. Um, they're labeled witchcraft room. So if we store these separately, we're good to go. Um, This is kind of just... Uh, Quick look at the color palette. I don't, know, I don't know what to call this color palette. It's kind of pastel-y to me, but at the same time, it's not like, you know, pinks and purples. I don't know. I don't think pastel is the right word, but I do like it. If someone knows the word this color palette, put it in the comments. Help me out. But I do like it. It is, to me, still muted. It reminds me of fall. It's not sepia, neither. I know this, I'm sure this cup palette has a name. Shanta just does not know what it is. So. I love it. Okay, so we're going to look at these grills, drills. Um, excuse me for the crinkling. Okay, let's look at these colors. Okay, we have 3778. We have one, two bags of that. One, um, 356. Two bags of that one. 3722. Our first fairy dust, which is Z3865, is a white fairy dust. Very pretty. I wonder if that's going to be on the school. I don't know. I'm just thinking. 3865. That is a really pretty color. I'm a, I love it. That's so pretty. Let me get two bags of that. Um, 3857. Get one, two, three, four, five, five bags. And I'm almost betting this is the outline color. I can I, I unbox another one. And it had a, a this kind of color for outline color. Two to one. And we get one, two, three bags of that. I'm um, 3830. 3721. And we get three bags of that. 
And then we get our Fairy Dust Z744, which is yellow. And Fairy Dust, I probably didn't even say that before, but it's just it's a um, drill with glitter in it. And the shine is really pretty. Here's another Fairy Dust. Then we have 350. 402, 921, 632, sorry, 740, 3823, 741, 498, and we look like we get two bags of 498, and we get two bags of 754, I'm 919. 758, two bags. Um, 948, 3859, get two bags, and then 321. We have 8192233303402. 3772, 420, 3828, and 666, a really beautiful red. And then this is our last little row of stragglers. We have 309, um, 353, 3855, 3801, 352, one three three. This is our old Aurora Borealis drill. It's a drill with just a real beautiful iridescent coating that makes the drills around it shine. And also, we do not get a lot of this, so it's probably gonna be hard for you to find. <laughs> Four fifty three. Um, thirty sixty four. Four fifty two. Um, thirty seven seventy seven. Four two two. 3341, it's a pretty peach. Um, 131 is another AB. 918, 743, 351, 729, 722, 300, and last but not least, 315. Okay, I'm going to give it a shot of finding the fairy dust and the world borealis on this canvas. I'm going to use this, this here to help me with the symbols. I'm going to start with the fairy dust that's white. And I am right, y'all. I am right. The white fairy dust is just a symbol with, it's the white circle with the black dot. And it is on the scroll right here. It is also in the book here. The outline of the um, Voss, I guess. I don't know what this is or... I can't even think of what that's called. Beaker, maybe, or I guess it's not a beaker. I don't know. And then um, also right here in the book, around her hand, um, coming down right here. Also highlights in her hair, on um, this here. Am I out of frame? I am. Sorry, guys. Right here in her hair. I don't know if you come on, it's in the smoke of the potion in her glasses, so cute. Her hair, more of her hair. Come down a little bit more. It is highlighting the lantern all around. Highlighting this lantern. And the last place I see it is highlighting um, this star. Okay, so that is the white fairy dust. Then we have our next fairy dust, which is um, signified with a J. I already see some of it here in our plant leaf. It is on the tip, kind of dotted down here. It's on the tip here, a line of it here. And let's see what else do I see, J? Okay, it is in the um, candle. It's J here. It's also in the crystal ball here. J, 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 all these little dots are J. And 
it's um some lines of J coming across here in the flowers going up up and let's see what else do we see J I filmed a little bit right here. Kind of, kind of like in this line, also here. So maybe Jay is a few um, of the highlights in her hair. It definitely is in that area I just showed you. Also, I'm going to roll her down just a little bit more. Because I see some in her hat. So, the stars on her hat. So this right here is all fair dust. It's also coming down right here. Fair dust dotted a little bit right there. It's also in the picture frame. I almost missed it right here. I think that's all. So let's go to the next one, which is in. So this is keeping the area where we have it. All this background is in, and that is in this lantern. It's also in the middle of this lantern. It is in the big star right here. All that's in, so all that's fair dust in the tip of the hat. So, oh, 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 oh. it is outlining the crystal ball. Also coming down the side of the crystal ball. And I don't know if I mentioned it, but it is some J, which is a, which is the fair dust right here at the top of this drawer. I may have missed that. Okay, as we look at our candle, um, the end is at the is in the flame. Oh, it's also um the J fair dust right here. I missed that too. And then I think I saw in. Yep, in is around the. Potion bottle she's holding around here, here, it's going up here, here. And then let's see, it's in in her hair. Okay, it's a little bit of in. I'll up down just a little bit. It's a little bit of in right here on the outskirts. And I might as well show you this one right here is a um, AB. One is AB. Okay, I see some more in right here in her hat. And we also have more AB going around here. Can I see it? Nope. And we also have some more of this one AB. I'm kind of coming around here. Also, I missed it, but it's a little bit of in up here. Then we go into the 1AB. It's coming around here on the inside of the lantern right here. Um, it's all swirled in the lantern here. It's in here. Um, here in the flower. Okay, we also have some one right here on the side of the crystal ball. Um, it is also some one in the potion. It's also some one coming down right here. It's also a little bit of one right here. Then our last AB is number two. That's the one where we barely had any. And it is right here in this lantern. And I believe that's the only spot. Okay, guys, tell me what you all think about this color palette in the comments. I'm interested to what you think. Um, did you grab this painting from Miss Bernard D? Let me know. Again, I think it is so cute. I really love her art. I love all of the little bitty things you can diamond paint. That's one of my favorite things. That's why I like landscapes because I'm diamond painting trees and flowers and grass and rocks and, you know, just, you know, just different things and clouds and sky. I like diamond painting different objects. I don't know. That's just my thing, I guess. 
Well, all right, guys, that's all I really have for this one. I just want to thank everyone for taking the time out of the day to watch my video. I really do appreciate it. I hope everyone is having a great day today, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!